My name is Ethan Board. I'm with the Owensboro Fire Department, a firefighter here, and today we're gonna make cheeseburger casserole. You got your ground beef. We're gonna mix in onions with that. You have your other ingredients, your mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, pickles, some sesame seed for the bun, and the buns, which are gonna be your crescent roll that we roll out. We're also gonna make just homemade uh, potato wedges with a garlic, I don't even know how you say this, uh, garlic, uh, what is it? A aioli sauce, yeah, so garlic aioli sauce, but simplified. <laughs> so. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is brown the ground beef. Pretty simple. While that's browning, we're gonna go ahead and chop the onion. And you can chop these as finely or as thick as you want, however you like your onions. All right, so now I'm just gonna add in the chopped onions. Let them cook down a little bit. While the meat is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get these potatoes washed and cut into wedges. For cutting the, the wedges, you can cut them however you want. You can cut them into little chunks or you can cut them into more of a wedge. So after I've cut the potatoes, I'm gonna put them in a bowl and we'll coat them with oil and then any seasoning you want. And then we'll put them in the oven to bake. I baked the potatoes at 375 for usually 30 to 45 minutes. So now I'm gonna take the meat, throw it in the uh, nine by 13, add in the pickles. So now we're gonna stir in the pickles. You already have the meat and the onions. Again, if you don't like onions, don't like pickles, you don't have to put it in there. I'm gonna just put in the, the ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. There is like a certain amount, but I always say, you know, whichever one you like the best, you put that, the, put that in the most, obviously. You don't want it too runny or too dry, really. Really, it's a personal preference. After you mix it all in, you like it. I always like to flatten it out. Now we just add the cheese, spread it out. And now we just take the crust, roll it out. So now I'm going to crack a couple eggs, and all we're gonna do is scramble them and put them on top of the crescent rolls, and it creates like a, kind of like a crust you can decide on if you want to do the sesame seeds or not. To add, the, add to the, the bun. Then you'll put it in the oven, bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so now we have the casserole in the oven baking and the fries also, they're still baking. And so now we're going to make the garlic aioli sauce. We have our ketchup, our mayonnaise, and then our garlic. Take the uh, chopped garlic, put it in the bowl, add a little bit of mayonnaise, some ketchup and we'll stir it up. Whenever you get it mixed up and get it to where you like, I just uh, usually just throw it in the fridge, let it cool. Chow time. All right, we got everything out of the oven. Everything's ready, so it's chow time. And for my t uh, taste taster, we have the one and only Curtis Johnson III back, ready to give him a bite. Thank let you. Him, let him know look, what you think. This looks delicious. Let's see oh, how man, it tastes. Tell us. Ethan never disappoints. Fantastic. That's an 11 on a 10 scale. It's really good. All right, that wraps up the cheeseburger casserole. Uh, the, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. You come back and next time maybe uh, the kitchen will look a little bit different. We're getting a new station here within the next year or so. So uh, when you come back, it might look a little different. And if uh, you want to check out the recipe, they'll be down below in the comments. And we'll see you next month.